Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. Uh, we are going to have a quick look at Adobe PDF services and how they can be integrated with Microsoft Power Automate. So if I search, if I go to templates here, right, and I search for Adobe PDF, I see some flows which are already, some templates which are already here. And let's take the most popular one, which converts newly created uh, files to searchable uh, PDF in SharePoint with OCR. Right, that could be a good one. Um, there are some other ones. Yeah, let's try this one. So first I select this template. And now you see this is a premium one. Right, so I would need um, additional license for that. And for Adobe PDF services, I have to create a connection. If when I click create, I see the following options. Connection name, I can give it test APS Adobe PDF, client ID, client secret, etc. Uh, for <clears throat> this information, you know, in order to get this information, you have to register for Adobe PDF services trial. And if I go to my other window here, I can uh, see this information already provided on the screen. So for client ID, I copy it. And where is client ID? I put here, then I go to client secret, copy the client secret and paste it in this field, organization ID and technical account ID and base encoded private key. Base encoded private key, this is the one so now I should be able to create this connection. Before we proceed, let me show you where you can get this information. So uh, this is a trial, right? And uh, it's called PDF Services API trial. If you go to official uh, PDF, uh, if you just search for PDF connector for Microsoft Power Automate and go to official PDF Adobe help site, you would see here, you know, step-by-step -step instructions how to do that. So first I sign up for the trial and then, you know, you get all this necessary information. So now I, after I have the connection created, I have a connection to my Adobe PDF services and also second connection to my SharePoint service, which is already part of Office 365 subscription. I click continue. And now I can uh, experiment a little bit. So I can select my site here, right? And a specific folder. For folder, you know, I can go maybe with share documents. Uh, then this, to initialize the file name variable, I keep it as the default. This one I also keep as default. Uh, file name does not end with PDF, so this is a condition, and if this condition is true, um, and so it's not a PDF file, then we convert it, right? We convert it to a searchable PDF, and this is the actual step that creates the searchable PDF, and then we create a file. Let's try in uh, the same site, just in a different folder, maybe in the folder which is called, uh, uh, I don't know what would be the best one. Uh, let's try what we have here, share document forms. So in, in forms, we create it. So that's that should be it. Let me see what uh, no errors, one warning. What is this warning about? Actions, infinite trigger loop. That should not be a problem. Uh, let's give it a try. I save it. 
and now I can test it. I test it manually uh, and I run the flow. Let's see what it actually does. It takes a moment for the flow to run. Meanwhile, I can navigate to my SharePoint site, right? Uh, I go here to services, SharePoint. And in SharePoint, do I have anything under share documents? Yeah, I have a couple of documents. So technically these files should be created. It still runs. Let's give it a moment and see uh, how it works. Since it puts it in a forms folder, which is hidden, we might not be able to see it here. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it's still running, right? So it takes, takes some time to run. Let me pause it and get back in a moment when it's done. Okay, so I'm back. It looks like I made a small error here that needed to be corrected. First thing, uh, when the trigger here is when the file is created. So it would work not for existing files, which I was waiting for, but only for the new ones, right? This was one point. And the second point is when we create a file, I initially had it, uh, you know, the directory where the files would be created was shared documents and then uh, forms which is a hidden library so it's a bit difficult to test so instead i went to sharepoint right uh, i went to site contents and just created a new document library which i called converted pdf you just go here create new document library give it a name and then for this document library you can specify this location in the folder pass where the new file would be. And then uh, I ran a small test here and the test was successful. I uploaded a new document in this uh, shared documents document library. So uh, this is one called Adobe One. And as soon as I upload it, the flow ran successfully and it showed up in this new um, document library that I just created. And if you look at the history, if I uh, look around at the flow history, it succeeded. It took about 30 seconds to complete. And it looks like the file was created in a specific folder pass and it's an actual pdf file that we can um, you know we can view here uh, it's a simple one but you know it's a searchable pdf so hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer for you how to start using adobe services integration with power automate as i mentioned before this is a premium uh, license needed and uh, you would basically need to create this Adobe PDF services trial as a first step uh, to run it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Bye bye.